Good day, ma'am. Here's my PowerPoint, and it's all about the political self and being a Filipino. Filipino, genuine Filipino, do a physical characteristic. What makes a Filipino genuine Filipino? Such as having a dark hair, flat nose, and dark complexion, make one a Filipino. Who is the Filipino? Filipino are open reference from a globally renowned personalities like Manny Pacquiao, Leah Salonga, and Michael Cinco, who have made Filipinos better recognized around the world. Through their expertise. Independence Day and buwan ng wika celebration prompt us to go back to our roots and reflect on the question, who is the Philippine? Technically, according to the Philippine Constitution, Filipino citizens are those whose father or mother are citizens of the Philippines. Filipinos values and traits. The Philippines is the last island paradise for its grandiose mountain views, pristine beaches, rich and diverse culture changing from province to province, while the Philippines may be well known for its own sparing beauty, perhaps the Filipinos, unique traits, reputable values, and loadable talents make the Philippines a place to be. Tourists who have visit, visited the Philippines can never forget the big and bright smile that greeted them, the colorful and loud jeepneys. The common Filipino phrases such as mabuhay and salamat, and habits such as saying po and opo to the elders, leaving sus or sleeper at the front door before entering a house, and then po. Importunate asking of kumain ka na ba? Meaning, have you eaten yet? Indeed, it is a marvel to experience person this unique traits of the Filipinos. Few of these traits and discuss in the next section. What is the Filipino hospitality? Filipino hospitality, a Filipino treat that is known far and wide. The Filipinos brand of Hospitality, Filipinos welcome their guests and tourists as if they are their own brothers and sisters by always making them feel at home. Respect for Elder Filipinos greet their elders by kissing their hand while saying manupu and constantly using pu and opu. In conversation, close family ties. A close family ties. Filipino maintain a tight relationship with their family, regardless that the children are old enough and already have their families or their own, and they are also fond of family re- reunions during birthdays, holidays, and festas year. Around some Filipino families even opt to live in a big house where everyone can stay together. Nursing homes are usually not an option for family members and choose to take care of their elders themselves. Cheerful personality. A cheerful personality Filipino have the habit of smiling and laughing a lot. They smile when they are happy sad, or sometimes even when they are angry. Smiling has been a cap coping strategy for many Filipinos, especially during trying times and calamities. Self-sacrifice Self-sacrifice is the sacrificing attitude for Filipinos can be seen as an extension to the Filipino hospitality. Filipinos go out their way to extend their help to friends, families, and loved ones, and the ways comfort and bitter lives 
for their loved ones and would even go to the extent of working abroad hundreds of miles away from their families to earn more money and save up their farm for them. Bayanihan. A bayanihan is the spirit is giving without expecting something in return. Filipinos are always ready to share and to help friends and loved ones who are in, the, in need. It may not always be in monetary form, but the time and effort they give also count as a form of help for them. Bahalana is attitude. Bahalana the Filipino version of the famous line Hakuna Matata meaning no worries. This phrase is said to have originated from Bathalana, where Bathala means God and the phrase meaning leaving everything into God's hands. It can also be viewed as something similar to the cheerful and positive attitude of Filipinos and loving situation to take care of themselves instead of worrying about them. Colonial mentality. Colonial mentality is regard, regarded as the lack of patriotism and attitude where Filipinos favor foreign products more than their own. And this is not only concerned goods, concerned goods, but the desire to look more foreign than local and keep up with the foreign beauty trends is included. Manana habit. Manana habit this is Filipino terms for procrastination and it was derived from a longer Filipino phrase called Mamayana, which means doing things that could have been done at the present at a later time. It is a poor habit of business which result in a heavier workload. Ningas kugun. Ningas kugun. Ningas is a Filipino term for a flame and kugun is a kugun grass that easily burns out after it is put into flames. Ningas kugun refers to the attitude of eagerly starting things but quickly losing eagerness soon after experiencing difficulty just as fast as the fire has ignited. Listeners is a common problem among Filipinos that is why Filipinos are regard, regarded as one taman or lazy one. Pride Pride Most Filipinos hold on their pride as if this is more precious than keeping a good relationship with family and loved ones. When two parties are not in good terms, Define it so hard to apologize and wait until the other party asks for an apology first. Crab mentality. Crab mentality is a toxic trait among Filipinos where one re resent that achievement of another instead of a feeling happy for the person, just like crabs in a container. They pull each other down and ruin each other. Repetition rather than bringing them up, which result in no progress. Filipinos should change this troublesome attitude and focus more on inadequacy in order to improve oneself. Filipino time. Filipino time is have this common attitude of arriving late at commitments, dinner and parties, especially if they are meeting someone close to them. They tend, they tend to not observe punctually altogether. The 7 p.m. call time beca becomes adjusted to 7.30 p.m. And almost everyone arrives at the same time because everyone is using Filipino time. And that's all, folks. And thank you for watching, ma'am. That's all, thank you.